two to shoot one. Catch us what's it go. It's three seconds. Ahead to Ayala. He scores. And uh, anything chocolate. I got a, a chocolate holly. Yeah. So what'd you think your instant classic for a scrimmage? Heck of a uh, Yeah, but that uh, transition defense was good until the last play. But um, no, I, I thought it was good because one, just to get in front of people, whether it's five people or a thousand people or 200 people, it's always good to play uh, in front of guys. So, and then normally when you divide teams up, you don't have enough good players to really have a good scrimmage. It was a real competitive scrimmage, uh, which was great. Saw a lot of things, learned a lot about the team. Sometimes when you're not coaching, you just sit back and watch, you can learn a lot. So it was good. You know, a lot of things are already new, but there's some things you learned about the team today. And so, but I think it was good. I think it was a really good day for us. And then to play 30, 20, 28 minutes um, is good for conditioning. And uh, so it, it, it was a good day. Got How's a lot out of it. Viner Forgates makes your company work. We make your company work with hybrid solutions from Microsoft and Nextiva. How's it different having Danny Manning as an assistant coach while you're walking the floor here? Yeah, it's just, I mean, I've known him since I was 18, so it's just good to have a guy you really trust around. Um, I think that's, that's important, and uh, guys respect him. And, he brings it every day. That's what's important. You know, I always want my assistants, and I let them coach, as you can see. Um, they got to bring it every day, and Danny brings it every day, which is important. What's been the biggest adjustment having so many new faces on the team this year? What's been the biggest? Well, we probably took the summer a little more serious than we normally do. We we got after it this summer, uh, put all our defenses in, and um, you know that 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 was different. Normally, if you have a better team, you. Just, this long season, you know. Um, uh, so that that was different. Um, I've moved slower because I had to do that, but I've moved slower this time of year than I normally do. We're we're a little behind, but we're talented enough to overcome it. But uh, you know, they're all they're they're older. They might be new, but they're, a lot of them are older, so that helps. So they they played college basketball before, and it's a huge advantage. Coach, you have a lot of guys from the Philadelphia area on your team. What, what attracts you to the guys from Philadelphia? Why do you think guys from Philadelphia? Well, we, we tried when we first got here to recruit up there, and, and uh, we finally got Dante to come, and then I think Dante's kind of Pied Piper, you know, King, and then we played on the same AU team, so King followed. Pat's played on his high school team. And actually, Q was in that area for a while before he moved, so they all knew each other, so it helps. It's been a nice, nice pipeline for us here. Uh, hopefully, it'll continue uh, moving forward. What, what are you hoping the process to be in terms of like figuring out how many people you want in your rotation? Um, I imagine it might go into November and December, but yeah. what's your plan there? I have a good idea. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's every game's going to be different. I think early we'll play more guys um, early in the year, um, but uh, we're confident. We're confident, you know, in nine or ten guys um, as a staff today. Um, number could shrink, number could grow. Um, how many minutes guys play? I, I just think it's such a long season. Like we had a scrimmage a couple weeks ago, and I dropped them off, and like. Five months from tonight, you know, we could be playing. If we go to a Sweet 16, guys, you know, it's like, holy cow, five months from tonight, we're already playing a game. So, he's got to, you know, didn't see me out there screaming and yelling at every little thing today. Just let him, we'll learn from film tomorrow and get better. And, um, but, yeah, I, I have a good idea. I have a good idea who's going to play. Now, every game will be a little bit different how much they play. We've talked about the, the new height the team has uh, previously. And what do you think of the rebounding battle today between players like Hugh, Julian, yeah. and Pablo? Yeah, I, I thought I thought uh, I thought Julian had some big time offensive rebounds out there today. He can really do that. He can go to another level. Uh, Q's a great rebounder for us. We're not a great boxing out team right now, but we will be. But no, we got length all the way across. So Akeem six seven, Eric six five. Uh, Xavier's tall, James Graham's tall, Pablo's a big physical kid. So, yeah, we have a lot of, and Dante's a big strong kid, too. So we should be a great rebounding team uh, as the season goes on. But, yeah, it's nice to be a little tougher afterwards. Is, is what you saw today kind of starting to become Dante's more of his normal? 
Yeah, he's been really consistent. Um, he's really shooting the ball well. Um, he's playing hard. He's been a really good leader. He's been really talking. So he's really grown up a lot. Yeah, it's been fun to watch. So. And, uh, you know, we had all the guys divided up. So certain guys would play better with certain lineups and things. But uh, Dante was good. With the overall depth that the team has, I, I know you were talking about the rotations and everything like that, but with the Big Ten play, you're going to need that depth. Right. And, and what kind of, I guess, minutes do you foresee for your top eight, nine players? Yeah, it, that, that'll, it'll fluctuate as the season goes on, but I do think for us to be, you know, our, our team two years ago, we had four games and three were on the road in like I don't know, eight days, nine days. And we couldn't handle it. It was just too much for us. And in late February, you know, get stranded on the road. But if you're playing nine or ten guys consistently throughout the league and a guy's playing 28 minutes instead of 36 minutes, that goes a long way when it comes February and March. So I think we're going to be able to do that. I think we're going to have, you know, guys are going to be one of guys always want to play more. But I think this team will grow and I think we're going to be able to share the minutes pretty well. We should, should make us a deep, fresh team hopefully. But we'll see, you guys you gotta stay healthy too. Do you think does this feel like a normal preseason? Like with co after COVID, like is everything pretty much back to normal for you guys or is it still kinda different? Uh, it's felt pretty normal. Yeah, it's it's felt pretty normal. And you know like today it was normal. Um, Maryland Midnight Mile was, was really cool. Um, that was that was normal. And just practicing every day. I don't have to wear a mask when I coach, which is nice. Um, and I like that. I've got to wear it in the building and all that. And wear it out in public and everything. But uh, when you're coaching, not having it on, it feels normal after last season. So, yeah. Did it? Did they ever need like a green light or anything? They took a lot of shots. They're just curious. Something you've ever had to talk to about is how to take it back. Yeah, he, he, he passed up on a couple early, and then he got kind of forced to take a couple because of shot clock and bad offense uh, there late. Finally hit the third one, uh, which is, I was happy for him. But he's a guy that's going to be a defender and a rebounder for us. You get him out there with Fats and Eric and Dante and Q around him, you know, it's a different deal. But today the teams were divided, and he had to do more of or something. So, um, but we do need to make open shots, which he can. He's working really hard on it. It's just, a, you know, he's got to believe in himself and all that kind of stuff. But he's got great mid-range. He can really pass it, too. So, he's a really good post feeder. Um, so, he's going to help us. We just got, we'll, we'll get in the games. We can lock in on those things, right? So it's hard when you're playing a scrimmage to divide the teams. Last one? Yep. So, there's a lot of guys who are people getting downhill. Yeah. yeah. How good is that just to open your offense? Yeah. Things for shooters, especially maybe you've had that as much last season. Yeah, it's um, it's 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 a well constructed team. That's hard to do. You know, it's not like I just pick this guy. You know, Fruity's hard. It's the hardest thing I do. And um, you know, Fats just makes the game easier for everybody. I mean, almost every bucket for the black team early, Fats had his hand in it, right? Um, the team took over and did some things. But yeah. Ian can get downhill, Eric can get downhill, Fats can get downhill, Dante can get downhill. Got a lot of guys that can get downhill. I've missed a few, I'm sure. Um, guys are good in ball screens. Guys can shoot the ball. We got low post scoring. So yeah, it's um, and we're just getting started. You know, putting things in, figuring out our team, and we'll we'll look a lot different. You know, in February than we did today, offensively. So um, yeah, it's good. It's it's fun. And, you know, we made some threes today, which is good. We had some low post offense, which is good. And we're going to be really good defensively. You didn't see it today, but we will be. we got a lot of good players there, too. Thanks. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, guys.